Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm going to go back in time and do a tutti fruity pour. Nice bright colours, hopefully it takes on the, um, the lovely Jilly cluster cells. I will try and recreate, this was one I'd done a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I'll try and recreate this kind of look again, but I'm going to go just all tutti fruity colours. All of my paints are mixed with my Keep It Simple pouring medium. So the 70% pouring medium, 30% water, and I pre-mix it in, the, in these uh, bottles. And then I just add it to my paints as I need it. Each paint um, needs a different uh, amount of pouring medium. So it's no good me telling you, oh, you need X, Y, Z because each colour seems to require a different amount of pouring medium. So this one I want to keep most of my paints on the thicker side, um, as I find that they hold their shape better. But in saying that, when I do my old kind of um, cluster cells, I had to keep them on the thin side because I used to like to stretch all the cells out. So we'll see how we go with this mix anyway. And it's lovely, lovely, tutti fruity, all the colours. Might not use every single one of them, but I'm going to try and recreate that sort of tutti fruity pour that I used to do. Rightio. So, 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 I think... I might start with putting the cool, actually that is definitely, I don't even know if I put pouring medium in that one. So I will just add, I just add my pouring medium like so until I get the consistency that I want for any particular technique or a particular paint colour. Like I said, each paint colour seems to require a different amount of pouring medium but that looks perfect so we'll go with that that looks really good so we'll get going on this bit of a different way isn't it so yes I'm definitely going tutti fruity color colors on it so I know my yellow and blue will make a green look when it's all tilted out, I'm sure. Yeah, I used to kind of just do these kind of wiggle patterns up and down. It's always fun to recreate some of the old, older kind of looks that you used to go for or that, has, that started me off on my YouTube channel, Korea. And yet it, it really has turned into a career. So surprisingly for this old bird. Oh, so that was my bright yellow and now I'm going orange, but I have added a good dab of um, orange, a, a good dab of yellow in my orange because it makes the orange really pop as well. So, and then I'll go, this is the cool red. See how we go with this. Probably not too much, hey? See how we go. Oh, I just love, I love these bright colours. I just love, love, love them. And then I'm going to add into this mix is... It's, um, I call it my champagne gold. It's 50% metallic silver, 50% metallic gold. It makes this lovely champagne colour. And because it's metallic, that is going to go through all of my other paints as I tilt them and cause this lovely kind of glistening effect through them. So I think I have got more colours here, but, 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 I think the only colour... I'll add some of this. This is my Berry Delicious, which again is that cool red. Add a good dash of phalo blue and a, a little bit of, of black if you want it to go real dark cherry looking, which is what I want to do. 
probably should have added some white in there, but I think I've got enough going on. So we'll just give this a gentle tilt all over the canvas, just nice and slow, take your time. There's enough paint on here to make sure that all of my edges are covered as well with the tilt. And then work your way down, but just always recenter your canvas so as you don't end up with all your paint at one end. Only one big blob in the middle or something. There we go. Is that covered? Yeah, that's covered that. That's beautiful. I do think that maybe I should have added some white in here. I can always do that, I guess. So I'm going to just finger pop the corners just to make sure there's paint on my very corners. And I was going to try and swipe this knot. I did try, when I did that other particular one I showed you and how I used to, I used to add silicone and I don't like adding silicone any longer, but I did have this one cup with just silicone in this purple. So I just wanted to try one area of silicone and we'll see. We will see if that sort of gives a different effect. We'll give it a go. These little cells popping up. I'm just going to uh, use my heat wand to see if they do pop up, whether I want to use that right the way through. just try I might try the other um, my berry delicious on its own here it's just got the um, my global um, keep it simple pouring medium let's see if it gives me anything in this particular mix I know it's just the same as the what I've got the rest of the paints mixed in I actually like that deeper um, colour to swipe with, that Berry Delicious. Oh, that's lovely. See, that's coming up with like little champagne cells. But I really hoped that, like, I want the cells that stretch out like I first used to do. So what I'm going to test now is just putting because i'm remember i'm just going back to how i used to pour so that is the pouring medium in it with nothing else no flow troll or no um silicon that one is the purple and it had one drop of this silicon so i'm just going to try i don't like using silicon anymore so it had two drops of silicon in there I don't like using silicon because it is such a pain to clean off your work at the end when it, when it's all dry to resin. If you're going to resin it, you'll find it ends up in big kind of, um, uh, you, you know, the resin can pit if you don't have all of your silicon off it. So if I'm usually going to add any silicon, I mix it in really well and I kind of leave it overnight, believe it or not. And it, it sometimes works so much better, but I'm only gonna try and do a very faint, oops, faint line. We'll see how that one goes. So this is a trial. I might, is that, yeah, I'll give it, you just drop the tip of a very soft plastic divider into the paint, only the tip of it. And let's see if that brings up anything. Now I'm gonna go to my, Butane torch, which I don't advise, I advise you guys to use a heat wand. This can be very dangerous and in some circumstances 
in um, units and things, they don't allow you to use this kind of tool. So I'm just going to see if I can get some jelly clusters, which you just tap in in areas like that. And as you can see where I've added that where I've added the silicon, I get those crazy kind of cells. And in my lovely pouring medium, they've gone into like um, champagne cells. So what I might do is I'll do this side down with a very thin line of my um, very delicious with the one two drops of silicone in because I'm going back to my old style remember so I'm going to try and recreate let's go this side now so just dropping my plastic file divider only into that line of um, swipe color and just take it really nice and slow there's no hurry here just remember your art room your rules your way Let's try and do it stress-free and make it enjoyable. You'll see that this will pretty much change. Hopefully that the cells will stretch because I've added that one drop of silicone. Oh, uh, I might get my jelly cluster machine out again because you can see the jelly clusters coming up already. And I'll just just dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it. So this is how I used to get my jelly clusters. That's it, that's enough. Oh, I do have to bring you down because this is definitely a tutti fruity pour. I have to bring you down to have a look at this. Just look at these tutti fruity cells, tutti fruity colours with the gorgeous cells. They kind of really pop having that very delicious background, but I'm absolutely guessing that these cells will stretch out. Um, and be, they're usually excellent for balloon kissing. But I just wanted to give you a uh, little look at these. I just think, oh, so bright and uplifting. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we will go for the old style. Jilly, the, if you go back in my YouTube channel, back to the very early videos, the tutti fruity videos, this is what I used to do. And with your balloon, Put through those two fingers holding the, the belly button of the balloon. You should get these gorgeous, gorgeous um, botanical effects and it brings all the colour to the top. Look at that. You can definitely put these balloon kisses onto another canvas or some card stock to make your own um, cards. So that's a, you know, just a, another little bonus you'll get out of this particular pour. Oh, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. See, all the colours are under there. It's just bringing them up now. Tutti fruity. If you have trouble with your balloon kisses, please try your paint at a thicker consistency because they kind of hold together, as you see. If you've got it too thin, they will fall in. But then again, that's a nice look all on its own, um, I find. So that is gorgeous. It's just bringing all those colours up that we know are under there. So I'll just do over this. Look at that. Just try and wipe your balloon in between each of those balloon kisses because it will um, stop your paint from muddying oh that's a beauty and you definitely can see 
the metallic coming out from the adding the gold in there oh that's so pretty definitely reuse them you can even just you know put on a coaster or something and then re-resin it i'm gonna leave these i guess up there but it certainly looks like the old tutti frutti pour with like a fireworks effect now i'm going in with my smaller balloon it's just a balloon that normal size balloon actually that i just fill with a bit of water it just adds a little bit of weight and when I press it in the centre of where I've already balloon kissed, look at the gorgeous effect. It sort of makes it really look like you're a, a real artist doing all these lovely petals. But it's just the humble balloon helping you create such uh, wonderful effects. I love it. It's very peaceful to do. It is definitely therapeutic. You can get carried away in your own little world especially if you're not nattering away like me doing a video i really want to balloon all of it but i won't because I, I also love those clusters if they start to separate i also love that too if i had my way i'd just balloon 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 because i love 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 the effects of the balloon especially actually where it's darker here. It just brings the color right through. So it's definitely my starry night tutti frutti pour. Rightio, my lovelies, look on for the photos at the end. It is gorgeous, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So what do you guys think? Is it like recreating if there's any you know, sticky viewers as i call them here that have stuck with me right from oh three four years ago now when i started my youtube videos um you'll know that this is what i started off with and grew my channel very quickly because everybody just sort of loved this effect so you know sometimes you do have to go back to where it all began I just wishing you guys to stay safe and happy. And if any of you are feeling sad, lonely or depressed, please ring a family member or a friend or a helpline. Do not suffer in silence. Um, there is help there for us all. So until tomorrow, my lovelies, I will say bye for now. Take care of you.